Hi guys! Today we are talking about servers, drives, folders, cables and all that exciting stuff. This video is sponsored by Synology, but we first reach out to them with the idea, as we think it's a great solution for us and for you guys. Today I will show you how I organize my projects and assets library, what my setup looks like, as well as my workflow on location and remote. It doesn't matter if you have a small team or you work alone. I would set it up like this even if I work alone now. Projects and library should be separated from your PC. Here are a couple of reasons why. PC can die or break easily. If you keep the files on the server, you don't have to worry about losing your files or don't have access to them for a long period of time. This is super important during an active project. You don't want to miss your deadline. If you keep the files on the server, you can also connect multiple devices at the same time, for example, PC and laptop, and have access to all the files in all the devices without copying anything. If your team has two or more people, then it's a no-brainer. Both of you can have access to the same files at the same time. Once you set it up right from start, it is easy to grow and expand from there. As you know why it's important to use a server, now let me explain how centralized storage works. We have a server where all the projects, assets, textures and other files are located. We don't store files on our PCs. This server is connected to the switch via an Ethernet cable. All the computers are connected to the switch, which gives them access to the server. Additionally, the Wi-Fi router is connected to the switch as well, which gives the internet connection to all the computers. You can expand this setup and connect another server to the switch, which will give access to it from all the computers in the network. Speed is very important because you read files from the server, you save files to the server, you load textures, assets, proxies, etc. To get the highest possible speed, your whole network has to be 10 gigabit. The standard and most popular network is 1 gigabit. It will transfer your files with a speed of about 125 megabytes per second. 10 gigabit network is simply 10 times faster. For example, transferring a 50 gigabytes file on 1 gigabit network will take about 6 to 7 minutes. On the 10 gigabit, it will take only 40 seconds. Obviously, it's a big deal, especially if you work with very large scenes with tons of assets, 4K textures and proxies. It starts with the server. Some new Synology models have 10 gigabit connectivity by default. If not, you can install a 10 gigabit expansion card. It's not only about the server, all components have to support 10 gigabit. You need high category Ethernet cables. You need a 10 gigabit Ethernet switch. Lastly, your PC has to support 10 gigabit connection as well. Either your motherboard will support that, or you have to buy an additional 10 gigabit extension card. The point is that even if the whole setup is 10 gigabit and your cables support only 1 gigabit, the whole network will be 1 gigabit as your cables will create a bottleneck. So keep this in mind. If you can use only 1 gigabit network due to the budget or any other issues, I will show a great workaround later in the video. For the last 5 years, we have been using a custom-built server with 10 terabytes of storage. It works really well if you are on location in the office and recently it has been a huge limitation for us. 1. Because we travel a lot. In this case, we have to take the files with us on a SSD drive which is super annoying and time-consuming. Also, sometimes you don't know what you will need. Another option is to leave the computer turned on and access it remotely, so we can access the server through this computer. This is not a great option either, as working through a remote connection is annoying especially when your internet connection is not fast enough. 2. It doesn't really work well with remote employees or freelancers. Obviously, they don't have access to the server, so we have to send them all the files back and forward. If we work on the project at the same time, there are also issues with linking assets either in 3ds Max or in the video editing software, not to mention the pain of sending the files back and forward using Google Drive or WeTransfer. Uploads, downloads, sometimes it takes ages. Also, the cloud subscriptions get a bit expensive for the higher amount of storage. Here we come to my new addition to my local network, Synology NAS, a NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. It provides a centralized location on a network to store data. Basically, the thing we discussed before, my old server does the same thing. A Synology NAS goes beyond that though. It allows you to build a private cloud to store, access, backup, and serve files freely and securely. The design is very elegant and compact. 
it is something that does not have to be hidden from a nice office. The setup is extremely easy. I am not a technical person, so if I say it's easy, it really is. With my previous server, I have no idea how it is done. I would not be able to set it up without professional help. Here, I just plugged the NAS into my switch and followed the instructions step by step without any issues. Installing drives is very easy. You just open the drive bay, place the hardware in and put it back in. There are a lot of different servers to choose from. Here I have a DS1522 Plus model, which has 5 bays. You don't have to use all the bays. You can, for example, start with 2 drives and keep adding them when your database grows. I have a 3.6TB drive in each bay. This gives me a total of 13.9TB of space. You may ask, Aga, why not 18? It's because of redundancy. I use the SHR Synology Hybrid Write System. What does it do? Basically, if one drive dies, the remaining drives can build back up your data. That's why the total space equals to the sum of four drives, not five. Redundancy is not a backup. For example, if you are hacked or your house burns, you will lose all your data. It only covers you when one or two drives die. Synology allows you to quickly create different backup systems. For example, you can have another Synology server in a different location and create your backup there. I will not go deep into the backups in this video as there is a lot of different options. For more information, check out the links in the description. Now let me show you how I organize my library folders. We have located our model library on our server, inside models folder. We divided everything into categories with subcategories inside. If there are no more subcategories, we have a maps folders with all the textures from all the models from this folder. If you want, you can download this folder structure from our website. The link is in the description. As you can see, it's not complicated at all. I try to keep it simple. Synology setup allows you to access the server anytime and anywhere using the web browser. We can log in and download anything we want. It looks similar to the Windows File Explorer, so it looks familiar to your normal workflow. This way we don't need to leave the computers on while we leave home and have quick and easy access to the whole network. Electricity bills will be lower now. It gets better than that. You can enable the live sync folders. It's the perfect solution for remote workflow, either for yourself or when working with remote employees or freelancers. One Synology in the studio is all you need. Freelancers just need a computer with an internet connection. The Synology Drive client has to be installed on the PC and the Synology Drive server on the NAS. Then you can enable Live Sync on any folder. Here you can choose the location on your PC. If you uncheck this option, the files will be synced automatically. The beauty of this is that when you upload anything to this folder, the content is automatically downloaded to the shared folder on your teammate's PC. Anything he puts into this folder is automatically synced back to the Synology. You can go a step further and create the same shared folder on your computer. For example, when you are away. It will sync there as well. If you place some files in the folder or make a change to the project file, it will sync back to Synology and from there, it will sync to your teammate's PC. After the setup is finished, I open the shared folder and place some files there. A blue check mark means it's uploading. When the check mark is green, the file is synced. Here, you can see that the file was synced to the Synology NAS. No more uploading, sending or downloading files. If you use a 1 gigabit network, it's a great idea to create a shared folder on your PC for your active projects. You will have the best of both worlds. You can work from your SSD, which will be the fastest possible option, and the files are organized nicely and available to anyone in the network. Lastly, let me show you another great feature – file or folder sharing. Basically, it works very similarly to sharing files via Google Drive, except we don't have to upload them. Let's say I want to share this folder. I can just right-click and share it. There are a few options. I can simply share it with anyone with the link. I can set it via email from here or even create a QR code. Or I can restrict it only to selected Synology accounts or make it password protected. Very handy and way faster solution, as you don't have to upload anything. Synology does the job for you. I hope this video was useful to you. 
If you want to learn all about 3D visualizations in 3ds Max, check out my courses. Also, you might be interested in these videos. Bye-bye!